Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Driving with Bruce. I have some sad news to report out on uh, in the cruise ship world. A 10-year-old boy was uh, pronounced dead on board the Genting Dream cruise ship the other day. Apparently a victim of a drowning in the uh, children's pool area. Very sad story. Um, by the time uh, it was noticed that he wasn't responsive, uh, uh, the crew immediately administered uh, first uh, first aid, tried to revive him, couldn't do it, and uh, um, tragically he was lost. I don't know how busy the area was at the time. It could have been this quiet. The ship was docked in Malaysia, and uh, they're doing an autopsy to see the actual cause of death. Very sad story. Another sad story on the Carnival Horizon. Um, a gentleman fell four decks on this ship uh, from deck nine to deck five, and the captain was notified uh, that a gravely injured, badly injured passenger uh, was on board now. He immediately tried to call for helicopter evacuation, but by the time... Uh, the helicopter was ready to go. The doctors had informed the captain that the passenger had also passed away, and so the evacuation was canceled. The uh, Horizon returned a, a day or so later to Miami, and the case is now uh, uh, with the FBI and investigations going on as to what exactly happened in this individual's case. Why did he fall four decks from deck nine to deck four? I want to show you some footage here of... Uh, the Carnival Pride in a an Atlantic storm just a couple of days ago. Uh, waves here were 16 to 20 feet. And I want you to look at the horizon of the um, uh, against the ship, against the handrails. And you'll notice how the ship moves back and forth depending on the wave action. But I want you to understand and notice how slight the movement is. It's not jarring. It's not fast. It's not violent. It's gentle. And even in these conditions, uh, you would really have to be in an unstable situation to fall off a deck. So uh, the individual, this gentleman fell off, apparently fell down in calm seas. It wasn't anything like this whatsoever. And so one has to wonder, was alcohol involved or was there a physical confrontation? Just what happened here? But both stories are sad stories. Uh, these events do take place on cruise ships, but uh, they are rare. Uh, but with 30 million people a year now taking cruises, two and a half million a month, we're going to hear more stories of people passing away on ships because uh, in a city of 30 million people, how many people die every day from accidental uh, issues, drownings and, and falling and who knows what, uh, far more than just two in a week. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's a sad story. I wanted to bring it to you. It's not fun, but I thought you should know. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. We'll talk to you later, everybody. Bye for now.